Pro Football Football Show presented by Chevy Silverado, the strongest, most advanced Silverado ever. NFL Week 14, and we have Rico Bosco on set. How are you doing, Rico? I'm great. Thank you for the invite. Thank well, you for the invite. Thank you for the invite. You're welcome. You dress up nice. Yeah. You look nice. Uh, Jersey Jerry was in West Virginia. Uh, Dion is battling the foot, so prayers for him. Um, so we had to go down the list, and we got a college basketball guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you see he tucked his shirt in though? It's really cute. Yeah, he looks like uh, if we if we send someone out. It's cute. To uh, close like a very low level ad deal and we send him out to the golf course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what he looks Thank like. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, company logo. Uh huh. And you guys aren't okay. doing pick him this week, right? No. So does that that's mean that's why it works? Okay, okay, well, it velocity? works. Yeah. It's right. I don't even right. know how I did on pick him. I think I'm about five. I think it was. Yeah. No, you six. are. I'm you dead are. last. De yeah. Dead last. So I I, yeah. I just gotta. Stay above the Mendoza and I get that trophy. Yep. Uh, speaking of records, Dave, you and Dan are both tied dead even on the season right now. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, Dion and Jerry and now I guess Rico, so it's now a three-person squad in the lead. So you know that everything that you do this week goes against Dion's record, right? Or for his record. Or goes for his record. Yes, one or the other. you want. Uh, whichever one is better content. Yeah, exactly. yeah whichever right. one. Uh, does that make you nervous? Uh, a little bit. But he's already, he's already had somebody in the bullpen. Now it's a, it's a bullpen game. That's true. Just got to get them to the finish line. That is very true. Let's get to the storyline games of the week presented by the Chevy Silverado. It's hardworking, and the design is big, bold, and commanding. The Silverado is a truck that turns heads. We are going to start with the Ravens and the Browns. Now, obviously, if Dion was here, I think that this would probably be a little bit more of a heated argument. Well, he kind of, yeah, because he's done like Baker, but he's off Lamar now. He's he, completely off. Yeah, yeah, I believe he, he pretty much last week was. Yeah, he I mean, realizes which, it's broken. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's definitely broken, but I mean, he still is is trying to convince you guys to be off Baker, but you guys are off Baker too, right? We're, we're, I'm not, like, no. Baker's not playing great. He's been injured, but. Yes. I, I, he, his answer to us saying Lamar isn't good is that we think Baker is like Johnny Unitas, which I don't think anybody's ever said. Yeah. Baker has not been good this year. Mm -hmm. He's been hurt. I don't know. Baker's an interesting case where it's like he's going to play his fifth year next year to see what's they, they're going to see what he does. Like if he progresses, they'll give him a contract. If not, he'll be a free agent. I think it's very clear what Baker is at I, this point. And if I'm the GM of, let's say I'm the GM of the Ravens, GM of the Browns, I, I am 100% convinced I need to get a new quarterback in Baltimore. I do not think he really. Yeah, I don't think he's. I don't know about that. I, th I think they got a lot of... Baker, I still think, has a little bit of a chance. I'd still want to see more from Baker. What do you think's happened to Lamar? Why is he... Uh, he could, nothing. He's never been able to throw. Well, it, it yes. He was the MVP at one point. There are parts of his game that have looked the done. same. They got one and done in the playoffs. The, so. Yeah, the short passes weren't great in, in Louisville, and they still aren't great. I think it also has fallen apart because they have no offense. Like, their, their wide receivers stink. They have no running game. It's basically all on him. So I'm going to give him a little bit more of the benefit of the doubt that uh, he's been asked to basically carry everything, and it's hard to do that. It's mm -hmm. hard to have to like be like, I have to make a play on every single play, whether it be throwing it perfectly to my receivers that aren't good or running for a first down. Running, we say it every week, or I do. Running quarterbacks make a big splash when they come into the league quickly, and then it kind of peters out. Defense has changed. They get used to it. If you make Lamar throw, he cannot beat you, and he makes ridiculous mistakes. He lost a couple of running backs this uh, this year too, right? Yeah, no, they're run yeah, their they're offense down. is broken right now because they have no one. I kind of agree with Dave though. They're at an impasse now. Of oh, I, I see. I think Lamar is still the guy, and I think he's still a franchise quarterback. It's just a lot of other things have to be good around him. Yeah. So. What do you think about the game? Uh, I'm gonna go with the Browns. I can't trust either of his teams. The thing to me though is Baker Mayfield's got to improve his accuracy. 18 to 37 in this game. They did force four picks for Lamar that game. Uh, I think the Browns are just hungrier. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Browns on this one. Well, that made no sense. They're definitely not hungry. I, I'm gonna. Uh, they're not for a playoff spot. I mean, it's just lost last. You think the, how how could the Ravens be any hungrier? The Ravens are equally as hungry. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take the Browns, but I hate the game. I'm just I don't like either team. These are two teams that went from in my mind contenders to pretenders. And Dan? Uh, I'm gonna take the Browns as well. Okay. Division. They just played two weeks ago. The Browns had a bye week in between. I, I think the, I think it's a coin flip game, and I'll take the team at home and the team that just lost to this team. Make they make the right adjustments and they win the game. Let's go to the Bills at the Bucks. And Dave, you were there. You were in Buffalo for the the Patriots win. How was that whole experience? Crazy game, obviously, with the wind and Belichick running the ball three times. Um, and, and again, we do a couple of these shows. I said, but Belichick 
everyone's now praising him, greatest of all time, what a coach, best coaching job. If they lost that game, he would have gotten crucified. Mm -hmm. Crucified if the if the Bills were able to punch it in. Um, but, you know, winning and losing is what mattered. The Patriots beat him like I thought I would. Uh, and, you know, I don't know what's going on with the Bills. Um, they had the, they're in disarray, the press conferences. Rico thought I was in the locker room asking all the questions. What was the question he thought he was everybody. asking? He said, uh, I think the guy said, like, no one's ever allowed somebody to run the ball that many times. It's still lost. Like, doesn't that embarrass you? It was very, like, Dave Dig, Like, just throw, you know, victory parade. It was funny. Again, it was 3 in the morning. No, but Bank Mike, you keep saying three in the morning, but it. you asked me it at eleven. Well, no. right. Well, I asked well, Chuck I and Pat. I'm like, well, that wasn't him, right? Well, but no, I had to clarify. No, no, no. You didn't I had to clarify. That. You said, "Was that you?" Uh, that question. But I, when you said I posted, I just reposted a clip from Sports Center. Yeah, it was literally a retweet of Sports Center. When's um, the last crazy. time? When's the last time you've been in a press conference? You're crazy. I've only been in Super Bowl. Uh, Super Bowl media days. Yeah, media I days. wouldn't consider that a press no, conference. That's different. And I was in the Bruins locker room maybe once, but that's not. I've never been in a press yeah. conference. Right. Um, ever. Okay. The only press conference I went to was Rick Pitino when he did his press conference uh, saying he wasn't guilty at his lawyer's office, which is a, a good way to prove your innocence. Yeah. To be like, I'm not guilty, here's my but lawyer. here's my press conference at my lawyer's <laughs> office. Um. <laughs> the, the, the Bills yeah. are seeing Patriot ghosts. I mean, McDermott after the game, out of the blue, unprovoked, like, let's not give Bill Belichick too much credit. What a strange thing. They are just, you know, I, I get it. I get it. You think it's your turn. For 20 years, you've been dominated by the Patriots. You think finally they're gone, and boo, they're not only there, they're back in control of the division. You know you're going to be chasing their dust now for the next two decades. And now you got to go play Tom Brady, who you can't beat. So I like the Bucs here. Uh, I like the people of Buffalo, but and I'm rooting for the Bucs because the Bills lose this game. It gives us a little cushion because Patriots still have a very difficult schedule down the stretch. But if the Bills lose this, that pretty much wraps up the East. I'll take the Bucks. Did you see that as of right now, the Pats Bucks is the highest, most likelihood for the Super Bowl, like percentage wise? Yeah, I don't understand that. It's like ten percent, so it's not very high. But that's the graph. Like, I don't that even know viral. where that. I mean, the number one seeds right now, I would think it would be unless they are planning on the Cards losing. The Cardinals are the one, and the Patriots are the one. So I don't know how that's not the number one, but whatever. I know odds. I, the the Bucks are the, still the Super Bowl favorite, so yes. maybe that's what they mean. Dan, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I I just think the Bills are a little bit broken. They can't run the football. Everyone's been talking about their defense being good this year, and they have been good at times, but they've also gotten gashed at times. Like they played the Titans, the Colts, and the Patriots. All three teams were able to run on them. I think the Bucks will be able to run on them when they want to. The one thing you know about Tom Brady, he doesn't care how he beats you. He just mm -hmm. wants to beat you. Mm -hmm. So if the recipe is to run the ball, they'll do that. If it's to pass, they'll do that. I just, the Bills are, they got big time problems. I saw the stat, I think I've mentioned it before, but uh, the most, since 1999, the most consecutive run plays called without a pass play, uh, 34, I think, or is it 32 against the Bills on Monday night, the Patriots? The second most uh, was 24, the Colts against the Bills this year. So that's twice yeah. this year it's that it's happened to the Bills where a team's been like, we're going to run it down your throat and there's nothing you can do about it. I think you'd be hard-pressed to find a better bet in the history of the world than my under Mac Jones 30 attempts. It's, on the, it's the best Crazy. bet of all time. Unbelievable. And I also, I, to go back on Belichick, something that I do believe is sort of true, which, and I don't know, you know, when you get to his level, you get credit for things maybe that you have nothing to do with because you're, you're so revered. But I think if he came out and threw the football, then McDermott would have threw the, thrown mm -hmm. the football. I think he almost dictated... Like, oh, they don't think they can throw it all. We're going to run a lot more than we, because the Bills are a pass team. But they tried to run, and they can't run. Well, and Sean McDermott, after the game, had that weird quote saying that he just doesn't think that they're tough, and you're supposed to learn how to run the football in training camp. Like, he just doesn't know what he's saying at this point. He, 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 see, he's, he sees Belichick ghosts. Very simple, tough teams, and this is to quote Julian Edelman, but, and obviously he's a, a Belichick disciple, but I, I agree with it. Tough teams stop the run. Run the football, cover kicks. That's what he says. That's the that's the definition of a tough team football team. If you can do those three things, that's what you got. And I the Bills can't do two out of three of those right now. Rico and Gronk being back has been huge for the Bucks too. Yeah, Dan touched on it too. Stop the run. Uh, the Bills can't run the ball. The Bucks have the number one rush defense. I think this is a Brady Belichick type combo punch. Belichick gave the first one. Brady comes with the hammer. I think the Bucks win fairly easily. Two now four. I'm starting to think I should take the Bills. We it's talked ourselves into a tizzy. It, it, it would be the all-time uh, Chris Berman, nobody circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bills game. But yep. I'm, I, I have to root for the Bucs, so I yeah, can't so, take the Bills. So everybody's on the Bucs.
No changing, Dan? No. No changing. No changing. Okay, let's go to the Sunday night game, the Bears at the Packers. Glennie has a weather update for us. Hello, Glenn. Yeah, I'm sorry to say this week, really, it's all sunny everywhere. The worst definitely, though, is going to be Green Bay Sunday night. It's going to be like mid-30s, obviously, and 20-mile-an-hour winds. So it's going to be fairly windy. But that's the worst part of the week. Everything else, full systems go. Sunny everywhere. And, Dan, you said last week that you were 12-0 and on your Bears preseason picks. I was 11-0. and Then I Now lost. you're 12. Oh, yeah, 11 yeah. and one You're 11-1. and one. Uh, So where are you going to go this week? Uh, I mean, the, the Packers are going to kill the Bears. It's, uh, what, what are we doing? Uh, what are we doing? I don't even know why this game's on here. It's not – it's the it's the Sunday Night Football game, but it's not – I'm going to give you a little bit of hope. Oh. Packers. Nico, we've beaten them three times okay. in the last – I know that. Decade. 21 and 5. I Joe Philbin you. was the coach for one of them. Shane McClellan broke Aaron Rodgers' collarbone for the other. And then 2018, we, or no, that was the last one was uh, uh, Thanksgiving night. Or no, I don't even know. I, we beat them three times. The Packers Back are 0-4 retirement night. Packers are 0-4 straight up coming out of a bye in their last four. Uh, Packers will keep it close. Stat. Packers win. You're going to be in this game. This, is a, no. this game no. is... No. A joke. It's Pat, a joke. He's trying, trying to give it to I, you. I, I, have, I have a three-team punch. Three, <clears throat> excuse me, three games. I, see, I'm fighting that cold. Three, three games I love. Packers being one. Um, and Dan's right. EQ saying it's a war crime that this game is, is on national TV. It's a war crime that this is in our feature game because the Cowboys... Uh, Washington football, football Club, much bigger game, and so is the Rams cards. So there's a lot of people who are committing war crimes. I don't know who came up with it. It's this my game. fault because I, I actually know I'm playing it back in my head. Josh, who's a great producer, does a great job of the show. He texted me on Monday asking for uh, the games, the primetime games, and we were traveling, so I didn't text him back, mm. and he put this on. Yeah, I never would have I yeah, never would have put this game well. on. Uh, Nuka Lush don't think just the Packers are going to kill him. They, he just said in my ear that he just wanted to get a rise out of you guys. I, I, I'm, well, I'm at the For point, him. though, but see, now I'm, I'm – this is like online when you're like, I'm not triggered. But you you are can't triggered. say I'm not triggered and everybody's like, but you're, that's such a triggered thing to say. <laughs> yeah. I'm not mad about the Bears season anymore because it's just I can't do energy anymore. Like that Cardinals game mm-hmm. – they, everyone was live betting the Bears, and I just kept on saying, the Bears suck. The Bears suck. The Bears can't play against good teams. I covered plus 18 and a half. Yeah, plus 18 and a half. <laughs> but they're just not – they're a bad roster, bad coach team. Andy Dalton's a nice guy. I think he's going to be starting this game. If Justin Fields starting this game, I'll be – like, my excitement will go from 0% to 20% because I want him to do well. But this team stinks – just end this season. Let's move on. Let's find a new coach. Fucking clean house. Sell the team. Andy Dalton throws a nice, soft, interceptable ball. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just a nice guy. Like, no one said anything bad about Andy Dalton ever. As a person, right? Yeah, he's yes. just a nice, nice guy. And, like, everybody felt bad when he got – when he went to Chicago and everybody was making fun of him. Like, that's how nice of a guy he was. Well, that, nice again, guy. the Bears bring on themselves, like, QB1 Andy Dalton, that tweet. It's like, what? He was the guy who got roasted for the pump-up speech, too, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. he's just a nice guy. Nice what are you going to do? But, so you're taking the, the taking Packers? Taking the Packers, but I think, Dan, I think actually it might be more torturous to Dan. I think the Bears are going to be in it. There's something to the coming no, off the bye not. here with, no, the, with Rodgers no, they're not. and the Packers no, being they're a little rusty. No, they're not. All right, I'm rooting for <laughs> you. No, they're not. Are you more convinced that they're not or that the Patriots are going to win the Super Bowl? What do you mean? Like, because you've been so strongly on the fact that you've already given up. You know Dave's going to win I don't the think Super the Bowl. No, I don't think the – I'm not sitting it's here more saying, certain the Packers yes. are going to kill the Bears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, I'm not 100% that the Patriots are going to win the Super Bowl. I'm 100% the Patriots are good and their team is like a Super Bowl contender. And then you just give up. That's what I've yes. given up on. Yes. No, no, no. The Super Bowl, winning the Super Bowl, like the NFC's got a ton of loaded teams. AFC, I don't know and, what to make. I think the Chiefs are still – Lurking and like 100%. home starts playing Chief well. Chief Patriots, two best teams in the AFC. And, and even Patriots Super Bowls, you know, they're, I, what are they, six and three? I mean, and they're coin flips. Like, they could have beaten the Giants twice. They could have lost the Seahawks, the Rams. Like, Super Bowls. No, I, I've just given yeah. up on, there's there's a bunch of people who are trying to fight this idea that the Patriots weren't a good team mm-hmm. for, like, the last month and a half. I saw it coming for a while where I was like, no, 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 they're a good team. What Don't you can me. guarantee is the Patriots are going to be in the playoffs, like, the next 20 years. Yeah. Yeah, Fair. probably. Fair enough. Which is remarkable. Yeah. We'll get to more games in just a second, but let's go to hashtag I believe. Dan, last week you said the Dolphins will finish above 500. They did beat the Giants, so looking pretty good. They're there. They're 6-7. Could seven. be a big game. I would keep saying Patriots, but I believe Patriots, Dolphins, and the season Miami, which is traditionally a house of horrors. Yeah, so the Dolphins are bye week, I think, this week. No, 
Yeah, they're a bye week this week, and then I think they have the Jets, so that would make them 500. So I think they'll get there, and they obviously got to finish the season. Uh, my, I believe this week, I think the Tampa Bay Bucks are going to be the number one seed with the bye. They're starting to play a lot better. They're going to beat the Bills this week. Then if you look at the rest of their schedule, they have the Saints at home. Win. They have Carolina at Carolina. Win. They have the Jets at the Jets. Win. Carolina at home. Yeah. Win. They're going so. to finish the season without losing. They will finish the season 14 and three. They are going to uh, be the number one seed in the NFC. Who has Arizona got? Arizona has some tough games, I believe, because I think they, that that division by nature is. They're Ryan playing the harder. Rams on Monday. Right, yeah, they, that division is a lot harder. Uh, they have the Rams. They have the the uh, Lions. So that's a win. win. You get the Niners again. They finish with the Colts. Where? The Colts is in Arizona. Win. At Dallas mm. and Seattle. The only one I see could see them lose is Dallas. Colts yeah. are pesky. Colts give me a game. I just think that they're. Uh, the Bucks definitely have. Yeah, I don't know who yeah. has the tiebreaker officially, but I just yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of games that could be. I mean, the Colts are a tough team, and, mm-hmm. and the Cowboys are a tough team. Uh, Dave, your guy, defensive player of the year. You got one huge sack. Yep. But I don't. I mean, there it. it I love it. I got him at eighteen to one. I don't think he's gonna win, but oh. he, you know he did get the sack. T.J. Uh, Watt has sixteen yeah. sacks. But he's yeah. not yeah. listed as like. That's crazy. He's listed, but. Uh, not the number one is um, is Miles Garrett. Yeah. Miles Garrett, yeah. I, I my I believe is I'm the smartest football procrastinator, no pro, pro, prognosticator Prognostic. in the world. Here's the absolute facts of what I have. <laughs> I bet two teams mm-hmm. to go to the Super Bowl, one to win it, one to go from the NFC. I got the Cardinals, 13 to one. I think they're like plus. 350 to win the NFC, or, and then I got the Patriots. So I got the two number one seeds right now going into what week is this? 14. 14. That is an amazing. That's and even, crazy. yeah, you also held out on the Bills. Yeah, I did help. Pull the I, I the waited Bills. because I had to see what was going to happen with the Patriots. Yeah. I didn't want to. So, yes, uh, you just got to, sometimes you got to tip your cap, and that is a, a remarkable. I mean, I could hedge out if I wanted. I got to the point last night, I was counting up my winnings. I, like, I'm going to be up. Seven figures if it pans out. The Patriots beat the Cardinals in the Super Bowl. Drinks Whew. on me. You're like three and one in big, big big boy games too, right? Packers two times. Bengals. Yeah, it, the only one I lost was the, Walker. The yep. Brandon Walker game. And I mean, I know this is an NFL program, not a college program, but you also had Michigan too, and you guys. Yeah, I can't. No, I mean, no. I'm. I root for Michigan. I'm, you haven't been I don't think he. Oh, yeah. I, I, I thought didn't you vote. had a future on them. No, no, not, I didn't uh, believe in me. I no. hand up. I thought they would lose to Ohio State, but. Um, yeah, I, I'm fighting a cold because I, it is not easy being a prominent fan when both your teams are streaking. I'm mm-hmm. crisscrossing the country. I'm getting my shirts, my laundry. I'm supposed <laughs> to put on May shirts. I'm putting on Patriot. There's a lot going on right now in my life. But the fan parade is looking still on. It's still on. And by the way, I now I do think uh, Westy didn't give me the Davy double. I keep fucking asking him for it. Um, I'm gonna text him right after this. I do think Michigan win the whole thing. I am not sold on the SEC. Um, so, I, yeah, I, I think Mich- and Michigan, what's it, four or five to one, I think Michigan is. There, it, it's obviously Bama, Georgia, Michigan a little bit behind distance Cincinnati. But, yeah, I think, I think we can beat the SEC. I really do. And, Dan, sorry about your game of the year. Uh, it's all right. Yeah, what we're, happens? We're I got on. one more coming. All right. Uh, so- At least I didn't take Houston and lose 14 units on them. Oh, boy. Did you do that? You no, lost every game. Hey, we you. have a college football show. We lost every game. Like, if you actually go by units, if you go by units, yeah. Rico has had two games of the year in the last two weeks, and he lost both of them outright. Mm. Yes. Well, Houston was a dog. Oh, yeah, Houston was a dog, but Ohio State outright. Right. And then Houston. Yeah, that, that was the... That was tough. Yeah, that was tough. Houston should have covered, too. So. It's well, okay. They didn't. Right. Georgia should have covered in my alternate world. That's why we play the games <laughs> on the field. Yeah. Um, okay, so you get to do a, an I Believe this Yeah, week, sure. So. I believe, uh, I think I'm going to take the Lions and run it back. Lions get two wins in a row. Wow. Wrong. Okay, five one-score losses this year. They're playing hard for the coach and a tie. Been in some games. I like what I saw. They finally got the monkey off their back. I think uh, Denver's a tough place to go. But I don't really love Denver. I think the Lions can go stay one. That's a ballsy pick. Yeah. That's a ballsy I Believe. I like it, Rico. It's time for the Sunday conversation. We're going to send it to Caleb Glenny, and they sit down with country star Luke Combs. Lucas Combs. Nope, Luke. Biblical spelling. Hebrew. So I'm not sure. You dropped out of college? I did. How much did you have left? Uh, like three, three, four classes, probably. 
I think. I wasn't a great student, so I guess there's, there's no really way of knowing. There's a lot of people who aren't great students. I was, but a lot of people you were. A lot of people <laughs> you were. were. You were, man. You were. We actually did know each other in high school, if you re probably didn't remember no. that. Sorry. Um, but we actually hung out a pretty pretty decent amount. A lot of stuff gets, you know, gets lost. A lot, of, the... a lot of memories in there, man. You know, I mean, you're going, you're jet set, and I get it, dude. Mm -hmm. You know, you're doing a lot of things, meeting a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you ever met Glenny Balls? I just did. Got mistaked for me on the way in here. Is that true? Yeah, I got a Luke police side. And I said, dude, I'm not Luke Hobbs. <laughs> the guy didn't believe you, did he? No. He thought you were lying to him. No, he didn't. Glenny Balls, you can sing? Not really. I don't really try to sing too often. Mm -hmm. You want to sing a song? Bottle of white. Can't Bottle sing. of it's okay. That's not it's how okay. you start. Not everyone can sing. Not everyone's a great student. That's not, not how you sing. That's the start. It's the first time. Okay. And it's okay. All right, whatever. And it's okay. That's how, that's how the song starts. <laughs> Calm down, boss. You're scared of horses? It's a, a disdain. There's a disdain for horses. Is that why you got into killing animals? Yeah, probably. Probably, yeah. You love to kill animals. <sighs> that's a tough... It's your that's hobby? A, it's a tough way of saying it, mm. for sure. I love to eat. Mm. Clay Balls gets that. Well, I get it. Hunting is a, it's a sport. Someone's got to put a bullet in these animals' brains, right? <laughs> <laughs> Be bad shot placement, but... Mm. I, get, I, get, I get what you're saying. You ever let the horse out the barn? <laughs> <clears throat> like I said, I don't prefer to go around horses. Mm. But you ever let the horse out the barn? No. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I know what you're talking about. Why did you choose to expose yourself at the Grand Ole Opry? <laughs> well, <it's, clears throat> you want to go out there and you got their mixed statement sometimes. You know? You let the horse out the barn, didn't you? Out of the, the stable. You like to fish? You fish? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What would you say is the opposite of fishing? In what way? Or in the sense of, you know, there's food there, you take a big bite, and then, you know, it turns out there was a hook in the food, and before you know it, you know, you're getting pulled into the ocean by your mouth. So that would be the reverse. Opposite of fishing. Okay. What's a honky tonk? It's hard to describe. Much a feeling as a place. Why bring race into it? I didn't. I did. I'm not saying you did it. I think you did. Honky tonk. I didn't bring it in. It was already there. You like honky tonks. You like going to them. A good country and western and swing bar. Yeah, I do. You're a swinger? Nope. Who said that? Balls, do you have anything else you want to ask Luke Combs? Off the top of my head, not really, no. <laughs> you have to prepare a question? We've, we've talked about this before. We have not. Balls, do you got anything you want to ask Max? Not really, no. Off the top of my head. You have to tell me to prepare a question, so no. Well, I mean, it's, we're at an interview, aren't we? It's an interview, Balls. I eat the ice cream, you ask the questions. I don't like when you, when you point. <laughs> I hang out with you too much. When he doesn't have a question, though. Well, then that answers your question. It's time for the Ain't Nobody Care Game of the Week. This week it is the Texans and the Seahawks, both absolutely disgusting teams. Now the Seahawks did get a win last week against the 49ers. The Texans lost 31-0 to the Colts. The Texans are just abysmal. I mean, they're an absolute dumpster fire, Rico. I mean, what can you even say about this team at this point? Dead last against the run. Uh, the thing that's tricky here is Seattle is averaging under 100 yards a game running the ball. So I don't know if Seattle's going to have a lot of success with that. Uh, I think it's ugly, but Seattle pulls it out. You cannot back Houston. I can't. Can't get behind you. So, Dan, I know every week I love when you rant about the Russell Wilson thing. Are you? Is it done now that they've won? Well, I mean, it's done, but I'm, I was right all yes. along because yes. if you look at the day that Russell Wilson got surgery, the doctors said it would be six to eight weeks recovery. Mm -hmm. 
Russell Wilson then had a miraculous comeback that everyone in the NFL media was saying, this is insane, this guy's crazy, how could he do this five weeks after his surgery? What did he do? He went 0-3 and, and played like shit. What happened on the eighth week after his surgery? He played healthy yeah. because he was healthy. Mm. It's almost like the doctors know what they're saying and Russell Wilson <laughs> saying, hey, Ian Rapport and Adam Schefter talk about how I am a miracle and I walked on water and got my finger right in five weeks isn't actually a thing. So yeah, I was proven right. Russell Wilson, I will always say this now because that was a selfish move. It is, mm -hmm. you don't get applauded for coming back from injury and hurting your team. You should be called selfish for it and that's what it was. They're gonna kill the Texans though. Because yeah. he's healthy now. I'm, I'm just sad that the rant's going to be over. And I'll, if, I mean, if, if I somehow the Texans it. win, I, yeah. I will run this one back next week. I don't know if Geno Smith wins any of those three games, but he, he couldn't have played worse than Russell Wilson. That's true. Uh, Dave? We picked just the winner. I would take the Texans versus the spread. I'm going to take the Seahawks, though, straight up, even though I think the Seahawks stink. Bad. Um, you know what? I'm going to take the Texans. Ooh, I, I, actually think they pull, I, I don't think they're good. They got to win last week. I also just did the research, Dan, you're right. The new favorite is... Uh, T.J. Watt, he probably wasn't on the list because he was hurt. They didn't know what yeah, he Yeah, he had COVID. But yeah. he's plus 200 right now. Makes sense. Um, Miles Garrett, plus 300. I mean, it's so Trayvon it's Diggs is seven, and my guy, Judon, is fourth at plus 800. 16 sacks in 10 games. Yeah. What's the record? I don't know. But, but I mean, Judon has 13 two? and a half, yeah, I think. Yeah, Judon's yeah, but he's played 13 games. True. The bike like, that's, yeah. He, T.J. Watt, and then obviously people can be like, well, shouldn't they have a better record? Well, T.J. Watt missed... Three games, actually. But that should factor. No, I know, but he he missed three games, and the Steelers lost two of them and tied the Lions in the third. Yeah. But so health He matters. makes that much of a yeah, difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 22 and a half is the record, by the way. Yeah, Michael Strahan on uh, Brett Favre, right? Yeah, the fake sack. Yeah. yeah. It's a little... Yeah. CJ Watt's going to be right there. I mean, it will yeah. be interesting. He will be right there. Let's go to the Rapid Fire Games of the Week presented by Cross Country Mortgage. Rapid Fire is presented by Cross Country Mortgage because when it comes to your mortgage, don't take any risks and go with the favorites over at Cross Country Mortgage. Even if you're not looking to buy a home right now, they can still help you out with a lot, lot of stuff like renegotiating your current loan terms. Go to crosscountrymortgage.com slash barstool. That's Cross Country Mortgage, and they can take care of you through the home buying process. Cross Country Mortgage, LLC, NMLS 3029, all loans subject to underwriting approval, www.nmlsconsumeraccess.org. All right, Dave, you just mentioned this game, the Cowboys at the Washington football team. Huge divisional game. I'll start with you because you've been up and down on the Cowboys. So. Yeah, yeah, and, and huge divisional game in a traditional rivalry that, I, you know, the Football club's been bad. The Cowboys have been bad, so you don't hear a lot about it, but this is an all-time NFL rivalry. Uh -huh. um, I like the football team here. I don't like them. I love them. I think they win the game. Uh, I know I've heard whispers, damn being like, it's too easy. It's a rat line. I don't know. I think people still like the Cowboys, betting on the Cowboys, and I just think Washington's better. I think they win this game. I plan on uh, responsibly betting a decent amount on this. Dan? Yeah, credit to Stu. He called it a rat line. I'm, I... I agree with him now because I woke up and I was like, I love Washington football team. Plus four is way too many points. This line makes no sense. They've been playing good football. This line makes no sense. And people are betting the Washington football team right now. They are getting more of the money. Give me the Cowboys. Rico? Yeah, I like what I saw out of the Washington football team. But with that said, the Cowboys need to turn it up this last run here before the playoffs. Uh, Got to play good football if you want to win the NFC, which is kind of wide open. Uh, I'm going to take the Cowboys. The Jags or the Titans, Dan? Titans, easy. Jags are a mess. Titans, uh, you know, we kind of forgot about them a little bit. They were really banged up. I think they had some COVID issues. The Patriots crushed them, but they'll, they're a good physical. They're a team in the mold of the Patriots, the Ravens with Vrabel that play physical football when they're going well. Uh, I think they win this, and they'll be heard from in the playoffs. Rico? Must win for a team who's lost two in a row. Vrabel's 3-0 and off a bias. A get-right game, I take the Titans. Raiders at Chiefs, Rico? I'm going to take the Chiefs. A lot of people said that, you know, funeral for the Chiefs, they're dead. Chiefs are back, they're playing defense and not turning the ball over. I like the Chiefs here. Dave? Yep, Chiefs defense, another team. Uh, I think that I have them slotted right now, probably two in the AFC, the Chiefs win this game. Dan? Yeah, it's Chiefs. Shout out Will Compton getting signed. Year yeah. nine has begun for the Raiders. Very exciting. Yeah, the Chiefs are starting to play some really good football. And the Chiefs, to me, if you look at every team right now, the Chiefs still have that ceiling that they have not reached because their offense mm -hmm. hasn't like clicked and their defense is now playing well. So they have the most that they can improve still at the end of the year. So I'm taking the Chiefs. Saints at Jets, Dave? You Gross. Yeah, um, <laughs> real, real gross. gross. Real gross. I'm going to take the Saints. Dan? 
Uh, I'll take the Jets. I. I don't know. It's Saints just, it's are, gross. I'm, Saints are bad, and and Taysom Hill has mallet finger, uh, so he probably won't throw. They're just going to run the ball. If I could, I'd just take the under, but yeah, give me the Jets. Rico? I hate it, but uh, I'm going to take the Jets outright. I think they're, um, well, that's what we do. Right. Right. Both. But no. Right, so but, we're right. picking outright, so. So we don't. I so take it no with confidence. Okay, take it with confidence. The Jets will win. Well, yeah, yeah, right, because Got that's it. what it's we're outright. picking here. All right. Yeah, we don't. I like what I've seen. Out of we it. need to go back and redo spread. the whole yes. show. Have you been nope. picking against you, the spread this whole yes. time? Right. Yeah, and have so you there was no need to throw in the outright. Got it. Got right. it. You have been taking teams win. straight up. I've been everybody okay. Okay. I just want to make sure. the show is outright. Because okay. remember, all your games Upset do go against. Louis, Jets. Or do four or against Dion's record, Got and it. you don't want him mad at No, no. Okay. So you're taking the Jets. Or Dion. He's going to watch this and be like, that's the guy? Why do you say outright? Well, they aren't on. They'll like your tucked in shirt, though, probably. Yeah, but, but we're not picking. We're picking I got straight it. up. Right, you always throw in that little extra dig that throws yeah, you he down. Can never, he's a, a, well. he's a butt guy. He can't yeah. say sorry. He's yeah. always butt, 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 yeah. butt, butt. You're taking the Jets. But Period. Yeah. Okay. Falcons at Panthers, Dan. Um, oh, five and give seven. Give me the Falcons. Give me the Falcons. I think they win this outright. Who's the quarterback of <laughs> the Panthers right now? Uh, I think it's going to be Cam again. Yeah. I mean, Falcons. Falcons. Rico? Falcons. Panthers are frauds. It's the only wrote, note I wrote. You can't no, have, like, I mean, they can't five be frauds. Seven. Fraud, frauds. Seven. Fraudulent what? Falcons. The fraudulent. <laughs> they're a fraudulent team. <laughs> so you so think f- how you can have five wins is fraudulent. Okay, so you okay. think they're two and ten. Yeah. Okay. Falcons. Falcons. Okay, Rico, you've already said this. You I'm going to li- switch to the Panthers based on Rico calling. Okay, so Dave is going to the Panthers. Even if Cam starts? Yeah, it's a coin flip to begin with, but the way he said frauds, maybe switch. Okay. Right. Uh, Rico, you've already said the Lions are going to beat the Broncos. So, Dave? Yeah. I'm going Broncos. Dan? I have the Broncos as well. Also, special shout out, uh, my good friend Detroit, Don. Uh, he was very excited to win that game on Sunday. He also, though, they just lost a uh, member of the their like season ticket holding crew. Mikey Claw, veteran, Mikey passed Claw. away. Uh, said uh, Detroit Don said he had a, a hell of a Bloody Mary bar in the back of his hatchback at Lions game. So diehard Lions fan, R.I.P. part of the Detroit Don whole family. Yeah. So R.I.P. Second moment of silence. Yeah. I'm happy that they won for Mikey Claw before you yes, passed. Yes, Mikey Claw. And, and, and here, Bloody Marys think, are legendary, so. You always think we're out to get you. I will tip my cap and say that is a spectacular pick if the Lions go into Mile High. Which I didn't even know about that storyline. Now I love it even more. Fair. You love this. Mikey you love Claw. the Lions even more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, love it yeah, even yeah. more. I didn't know about that story. That would be okay. that would have been a can we, get a, can we get a? Can we get like a at the end of the show? Can we just get a graphic that says "In loving memory of Mikey Claw"? We need it. Yes. yes. His Bloody Marys were excellent. That would be. You a make a good Bloody Mary. I mean, yeah. you you live in infamy for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, R.I.P. No. Nope. nope. Infamy is nope. like That's Pearl Harbor. Bad. Day that was an infamy is bad. Infamous infamy is very bad. Infamous is very bad. As bad as Pearl Harbor day that. Rico's good friend Hitler. He lives in infamy. Yes. The H man. That's your good friend. Yes. You're supposed to shield me. Okay. I I can't shield you. All right, let's do that again. Ready? Okay, okay. Mikey Claw, shout out, unbelievable guy, lion, diehard Lions fans, great Bloody Mary bar. Put that at the end. Uh, he may, may he live forever. May he in rest our in memories. peace. Yes. May yes. Yes. May yeah. his memory will live on. Yes. Okay. Let's go Giants at Chargers, Dave. Jake Fromm might be starting for the Giants. I'll take the Chargers at home. Um, it's another franchise. Big win for them last week. I don't know. They are what they are. These teams are probably right about what they are. I'll take the Chargers. Probably a fairly close game, but I'll take San Diego. Rico? LA. The Giants' D has been playing good. Uh, they can make this ugly, but I'll take the Chargers. Dan? Some of us, unlike Rico, can actually admit when they're wrong and not say a but, but, but. I m- remember vividly doing the rundown in the old office after the Georgia-Alabama game, and I said Jake Fromm is one of the best quarterbacks in the country. He's going to be an absolute superstar. If he could be in the draft right now, I'd draft him number one. Boy, was that wrong. Chargers. Credit to you. Chargers. Credit to you. 49ers at the Bengals. Rico. Bengals are 3-1 and one this season off of a loss. I'm going to okay. take the Bengals. Zig, zag, zig, zag. Bengals, zag here. Dave? Two teams that I was wrong about last week that I really can't get a read on. Um, Bengals got throttled. I thought they'd come back, maybe win that game. And I think I said last week, 
if the Bengals want to prove they're real, they got to win this game. They didn't. I don't know what. And then I thought the 49ers would beat the – I don't know. This is a weird game. I'm going to take the Bengals at home with zero confidence. Dan, where are we with your love affair with Shanahan? I mean, he's – that was a bad loss. Russell Wilson kind of owns him. Um, I also – it's making me a little nervous, the fact that Jimmy G is not good, he's not playing well, and Trey Lance is not playing. That means that Trey Lance is not as good as Jimmy G, which means, like, ipso facto, you kind of fucked up this draft, dude. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll take, though, the 49ers on a bounce back. How many times a week do you think coaches like that are looking at, like, Mac Jones and be like, we yeah. really a fucked lot. up a lot. the draft? Especially a guy day. like Mac Jones is, like, Pro perfect tough, really, yep. to be like, this. You just you need to hit the right throws at the right times and let us run the ball. Like, perfect. I Matt think, Jones is also probably very thankful that he's in 100%. Doing well, I, I think, think it hurts even fit. more. Of, like, of all the, if it fell to the Jaguars, you'd be like, all right, well, they hit it once in a while. Belichick again? This fucking guy got us again? Like, I now think it hurts flip, even the more. The flip side is when people always like, oh, Belichick, the right quarterback, this, that. And there is no debate. Brady's the best of all time. Belichick's the best of all time. But Belichick gets quarterbacks. He, I mean, Matt Castle, Garoppolo. Uh, Brissett, he gets guys who suddenly people look at it like, oh, those guys are really good. So it, it's everything. Um, yeah, I, but this game I have no clue. I'd take the Bengals. Uh, Monday Night Football, a big one. The Rams at the Cardinals. Dave, I will start with you. I don't get this line at all. I don't get it at all. I think the Cardinals win this game convincingly. I think they are – them and the Packers are my two NFC teams. Um, Bucks, I guess you got to throw them, but I still think it's Packers. I think the two best teams are the Packers and the Cardinals. I think the Cardinals still, if I had to re-bet and take yeah. a team to win the mm -hmm. NFC, I would still take the Cardinals. I think they're very, very good, um, and I think they win this game easily. I don't get the line. This is the three games that I love this week. I love the Washington Football Club. I love the Packers. And I love the Cardinals. All ATS. Dan? Cardinals. I, the Rams are not good. They, they beat the fuck out of a bad Jaguars team. We, we knew that was going to be, like, pump them up a little. They're not good. Rico? Yeah, we haven't seen the Cardinals at full strength in a little while either. I mean, last I, week, right? In a big-time spot against a big-time game. Yeah, they beat the Bears. They probably should have beat the – you could beat the Bears, unfortunately. I just start was With your you. backups. Yeah. In a flexed spot, uh, flex game, uh, primetime spot, show the world. I like the, the Cardinals here big. Remind people that they're still the bad boy on the block. Like uh, you said, uh, pack, everyone's going to the Packers. Uh, like yeah, but they're not yeah, like yeah, that's, it's a normal win. They're not to the that's stage a normal win. Like the Patriots remind people they're still the bad boy. The Bucks the can do that. Like the Cardinals. Tom Brady can do that. Okay, this season, I don't Cardinals think anybody. I don't Chiefs think, can do that. I don't it. think anybody is walking down the street being like the Cardinals are the bad boy in the block. Yeah, like the Chief, If the Chiefs beat the Chargers, yeah, the Chiefs like, can hey, be like, we, we own this division. Like you probably have to win. Like have the Cardinals won a playoff game. Not a long time. Yeah, know. so like maybe before you get, oh, the bad boy in the block is still here, win a playoff game would in the last new, 30 years. Would, would new kid on the block be a better comparison or yeah. analogy? Yes. Okay. They are the new kid on don't, the block. Don't sleep year. on the new kid on the block. Yeah. They yeah. are the new kid on the yeah. block. Okay, new kid in town. Yeah. Got it. Because you All right. saw the Bucks in the That's good. Nobody's, the nobody's like, oh, there goes that bully, the Cardinals. All right, thank you. I'm bringing my college analogies. This is a pro show. Elevate. Everyone's got to pick it up. No, that made no sense, though. You See, that's what you do. You make no sense. And then you back it up with less sense. Right, that's what he does. He like, we're out of it. Remember when you told the Jim Lampley story and you were just wrong and then you tweeted out that you were wrong and then you're like, see, everyone owes me apology. Hashtag Rico is right. But you were out I'm working of on getting Ed Coleman on this. You're going to get that? You're going to get that. I'm going to try to get Ed Coleman, yeah. Rico said that an uh, intern at WFAN had to hold a cup while Jim Lampley, it yeah, wasn't multiple like a times. Time. It was like, had to that's hold how a he cup pissed. While Jim Lampley took a piss in it. And then Rico tweeted a story that said, one time Jim Lampley was running late, so he asked for a cup and he pissed in it. And Rico said, see, I was right. Rico was you made right. It sound and like, tagged us. Yeah, you made so it sound embarrassing. Like every day. And as far as this last one, we were out. Like, we corrected it. It's like the new kid. And then you, you at the end, if you said, see, I bring my college analogies to the pro, but what does that mean? You just make no sense? <laughs> I guess. That one I'm, was wild because I, it's like your brain is so messed up that you you read the words that do not support your story. And then you tweeted it out being like, Jim see, I was right. Yeah, you did make it sound it like It was crazy. Consistent. Like every time there's a, a break, the intern comes over. Had to hold the cup. It was crazy. I'm still working on that. That was only the one. You're not giving up because you no, never say sorry. You never say you're right. wrong. No, never. You, never okay, say you occasionally never will tell a story. Die. Not occasionally. You actually do it. You just tell stories that are so like obviously false in real time. That was one of them. All right. Is this how Wednesdays normally go? Every day. Mm. Every Wednesday. You do it Inter yourself. Interesting to see that up close. 
normally I just see yeah. it on, online. So, wow. Let's get to the, I can't, I can't even talk. I feel so bad for you. No, you shouldn't feel, why would you feel bad for Rico? He I doesn't mean, listen, for listen, himself. Listen, he literally tried to dunk on us online being like, Rico was right. He used the hashtag, no, Rico was right. He was I'm wrong. Not saying, I'm not saying that he was right. I can, just, more to that I can story. just picture the fact No, that there is not. Normally it's the two of you versus him. Is there anybody they else in the room the on one no one, uh, no one, No one just makes up fake stories out of thin air like that. Okay. I mean, well, he's if sitting you do around, that, hey, Jim Lampley on a radio show. He's Every time he takes a piece, an intern told him to pee in a cup every time. It's like, no, he didn't. And then he he finds this fact that backs us up and us. tries to act like he's we right. We got backed up. And then, Casey, why you? do you feel bad for him? He I literally still bad. won't say he's wrong. It. It's insane. It. All right. It's well, insane. Tell him. Tell him. Why do we forget about you? I'm, well, I'm not. Tell I'm, Dan that, that you were wrong and we can move no, on. No, he this. won't do it. No, I'm not wrong until we get the story see? from Ed Coleman. See? Because he was the there every day. I tried, Rico. I tried to stand up for you. but they respect it, though. I'm feisty. I tried. Yeah, you are feisty. I will say that. You are absolutely feisty. <laughs> Refuse to die. Let's go Except to Except when oh. dude to do shows up. Then you go oh. in the bunker. He has a fetish. I do not have a fetish. You told it to him. I did learn it from you, Dave. Unbelievable. <laughs> I keep sliding Thanks. on my sleeve. Things have gone off the rails. Let's go to the Fantasy Football Factory Minute with Ben Mintz and Stephen Che for their fantasy starts and sits for week 14. What's up, fellas? I'm Ben Mintz. And I'm Stephen Che. We're the hosts of the Fantasy Football Factory Podcast, and it's time to clock yet. I'm with the red hot Stephen Shea. Who are you starting this week? We're going to ride the Pookie Williams wave. Javante Williams hosting the Detroit Lions. They got a win, but they're about to get run all over by Pookie. I'm starting Cam Newton against his hometown Atlanta Falcons. Joe Brady's out. Cam Newton's going to run the ball. He's going to be a dual threat at home this week. I'm going to sit Saquon Barkley. The Giants might be starting Jake Fromm. Stay far. Cannot start Saquon. He had 11 carries last week, even with Mike Glennon starting against the Chargers. Not a great run defense, but you still got to sit Saquon. No games over 60-yard rushing this year. Kansas City Chiefs defense is red hot, so I'm sitting down Derek Carr. He struggled last week against the football team. This Chiefs defense has taken it to another level. Join us for Dear Mr. Fantasy at 1130 Eastern on the Barstool Sportsbook YouTube channel. Check out our Thursday night and Sunday night FF Pod parlays and trust Stephen Shea's data. Time to clock out. Thanks, fellas. It is time for the primetime pick of the week, which is presented by Chevy Silverado. Dependable and gritty like the people who drive them. Anything is possible with the Silverado. All of you guys got wins last week. Dan, you had the Rams. Dave, you had Philly. Dion had Miami. Again, Rico, whoever you pick goes on to Dion's record. I mean, at this point, we're just we're playing out the rest of the season. Dan's already won the suit. Dan, who are you going to go with? I will take Seattle. Obviously, Rico, it's 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 Survivor, so you can't pick a team that's already been picked. Yeah, I'm yeah, familiar Seattle. with those things. Seattle. Dave. Denver. Rico. Oh, uh, shout out to Dion. He's got two great teams here: Titans and Chargers. I'm going to go with the Titans. Okay. I don't know. The Chargers are a great team. Two great picks. They're late. Like yeah, no, they, they have a lot of. All right. Well, anything else, guys? That's it. Great you, show, Rico. I, well, like, can I ask you guys, you. normally on Wednesdays when you do pick them versus this show, how do you rate his performance? Well, he was good. Yeah? He was good. Thank you. I mean, he says stupid shit. Not a performance is the problem. What is it? That it's just who he it's is? It's just, that's Rico. Right. But uh, we're not walking out of this set with you mad at them. Because no. normally I feel like after pick them, no. you're pretty mad. No. 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 Pick them's a hostile environment. You got to sit on a weird couch, hot lights. This is pros. This is and, nice. and you, yeah. I tried to be on your side. I really did. All right. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs>